Merry Hormus. Ha <laughs> Christmas Eve Eve, which is my favourite time of year, being a self-confessed Scrooge McDuck. No, you're not a Scrooge McDuck. You said that on last video, you're not a Scrooge McDuck, really. Bar she loves, humbug. She loves Christmas. I like um. I do, and I force it upon her, I think that's what I'm trying to say. I like cheese and Home Alone, and that's as far as it goes. Um, that's Christmas enough for me. Um, so we're going to do a haul. Basically, things have sold. We haven't been like super haulers this time round. Um, no, so hauls are like, they just, I don't know. We've just accumulated <laughs> some highlights and things that haven't sold yet. Um, Which we've got in the last few weeks. Most of these things you were like, you like Bethany just said, you'll have seen in our uh, picking videos. Some you won't have. Uh, most you would have though, but um, if you if you if anything's missing from the pickup videos you saw of the items in, it means they've sold. It means it's sold. Let's, let's let's start, shall we? Okay, so this was found in um, Cardiff very recently in our Cardiff um, uh, picking videos. This is a brand called Bella Rose. Is it Bella Rose or Bell Rose? Bella Bell Bell Rose, yeah. Bell Rose, like Mel Rose, but Bell Rose. Um, if you look at comps or retail prices, this is a high priced brand, and I know it's very popular with like the influencers and sort of like the, you know, the ladies that do like outfit posts on Instagram. Anyway, I picked this up. Very I, contemporary. We don't pick it up all the time, but I thought this was an exceptional piece due to the fact that it is. A disco ball. It's really sparkly. You can't pick it up when it's further back, but when you see it up close, you can understand it's how it literally it's is like. It's fully sparkly. Yeah, it is. Um, I just thought it was a nice thing. A hoodie, very wearable again, but but also that like sort of more special piece. Yeah, um, it's not just to go to the gym in, is it? No, exactly. Or oh, you could go to the gym now. Like, that'd be really fun. Um, anyway, so we paid four ninety nine. I'll be honest with you, like I don't remember them when I've got the price on there, so the chance of me remembering it is beyond. So if, yeah, you, re if you really, really, really you want to um, contradict this and uh, state it wrong, by all means you can go back and check. But all those prices are in the videos previously, you would have seen these. Yes. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go with around that. Uh, like I trust your memory, like implicitly. Yeah. But I'm so just it'll saying. be it, it'll be be in it by about a pound. It won't. We be didn't any... pay hundred pound for this hoodie. I'm going to be honest. No, but with I you. think I listed it for sixty. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Next, Next up. Um, we bought this in um, Westbury. Um, I don't know if this was on camera. I don't think it was. So this is a Barber Women's Gilet or Body Warmer. I always used to call them Body Warmers growing up, but then yes, the yeah. the French call them Gilets. Um, this is a size 14, so it's a really good size, and the colour is really good. It's like that olive green. Um, yeah, I used, to, I used to have the default, the, the four men's jacket in this colour. Yeah, very classic. And I've got to say, like when eventually I kind of. I guess I grew it physically. We, I sold it. It sold really quickly. I, I think once again, I think I had to do a lot with it. I don't know if you can see that little barber there. Uh, a lot to do with the colour. It's an exceptional condition. Uh, Pay five pounds. I put it up for forty five. There you go. Um, next up, we got this in women's stuff. A no, little something you, different. You don't have to say every time. It's no, okay. but do you know why I'm saying it? Why? Right, I'm saying it because I'm a nice person. So you can go back to the video. And find the town video. So you're you're thinking if if if, if the ladies and gents watching, yes, haven't already seen that video, yeah, you think the 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 amount of stellar people watching this haven't already seen that they're so good back there, they're so good sat at home or sat in a car on their phone. I know you are, and I'm too hard on you. I think that's something I need to improve in life. This, I apologize. This is a Joseph rib cough. Couture. Um, I picked this up because it had a real like Y2K vibe. Yeah, yeah. Go jazzy. A little bit cropped, a little bit lacy, a little bit beady. And yep. I thought, you know, someone's going to rock this on a cruise. Like that. I think it'll look beautiful. Thank um, you. With high waisted jeans and something like that. We paid. It's like it's like a double washer cord as well, isn't it? Yeah, double, like a double washer cord standard. Layered. Yeah. We paid three to four pounds. Um, I would like I would put like crochet Y2K. Um, Jazzy, no, yeah. I mean, I no, I was gonna say though, you picked this up, uh, uh, like, oh, we picked it up, but you, you, you get you, you brought it to me to look more so. I know we picked jo Joseph Ribkoff, of course, but it's a style, like, forget the brand for a second because Ribkoff stuff is generally, although it's mad, it's for like it's, it's an old yeah. once again demographic. This is more like you could get away with this being any age, yeah, it's super cute. Yeah. Anyway, I pull it up for 35. Okay, uh, next up is Austin's most favorite prize possession. No, it's really not, but it's a really cool t shirt. We got this in. Oh, no, really I'm not cool. going to tell you where we got it, because we don't need to know that. So, we paid £30 for this. Why didn't you tell me where we got it from? Because you just told me I shouldn't say where we got to get no, things from. No, I wasn't saying that. I was like, like every, you, you're, like, you're, like, you're like struggling to remember where we got it from. You don't have to. It's okay. We're, we're all friends here. It's okay. Ghost is a short okay. is a short movie. It's Christmas time. We, we, we all... We all... Austin. 
Um, it's Michael Jackson Ghost. It's a short movie about a man that lives in a haunted house and then he turns into a ghost. And There's night. a haunted house right there, folks. Uh -huh. This is 1997, but the film came out in 1996. Uh, this is listed for 200 smackaroonies. Um, yeah, they go, they go like quite regularly for like between 150 and 200. But ours is double sided and the other one's listed as single sided. Yeah, so usually it comes with that or that on the front with black, both blank back. There is one, I think there was one which sold in the States with both. Yeah. And that went for about three, I want to say three and a half hundred dollars. Um, so 200 pounds, I think, is, is about right. Um, it probably sell on Depop. It isn't single stitch, but once again, it's not like old, old, old. It is old. It's obviously it's more vintage. It's 1997. To be exact. Um, but the movie came, but the, the movie came out in 1996. There you go. This is a promo t-shirt. Oh, yeah, it is a promo t-shirt. This actually wasn't cheap either. Um, so like I just said, we pay five pounds. I don't listen to you. you Why do you say that? Me. Like I, I don't listen to you. When I say that, I mean it's not, you, it's not. It's not for these and guys when to you laugh do at. You listen to me. You criticise. So what is the point? I, do, I don't. <laughs> Next item, Austin. Thirty pounds. Say this is for two hundred. Yeah. This is. I added this in hush because it's hush. Um, pay five pounds, but um, I really like picking up Hush when it has the slogans on it. I find people relate to the word, or they'll like feel a bit nostalgic about a word. Um, this one is lucky, um, but it's fully embroidered wool. Embro it's like thick cotton wool embroidery. Yeah, it's yeah, lovely. Like, I think that it's is. Kinda, yeah, I think, I think anyway, that is. Uh, five pound paid. I put it up for thirty. And it's really I, distressed as well. The yeah. whole light thing. I expect it to go on um, vintage. I did actually. I put distressed embroidered. I actually think it's got like a western style. And then when I think of lucky, I think of horses. Called cool, lucky because of the horseshoe. No, I get it. So I put western in the title. Next up is a, oh. she's a beaut. This is a really underrated brand. Um, Olive. Um, it's literally. It's a cool Olive. look. It's a cool looking uh, label as well. Like, and I had a pinafore which I bought the other week, literally a week and a bit ago, and that's all really quick on vintage. So this is a cropped cotton knit in like this duck egg blue, and I put duck egg blue in the title because I feel like people like duck egg blue. You know, it's very country core. I do think if you're a human who enjoys that specific shade, I, I do think that's something you'd search. We've got like the lemon thing. Right, and it's got a nice why are you looking at that for? I feel like you're making fun of me all the time. It's not always this a mockery. Is, um, it's just almost like understand. it's very toasty, so it's a very utility like style. I think it's actually like well, if you look at it like just that kind of top half. I'm like, just looking then; it just looks like a no, jumper with it? detail. But when it's cinched in at the waist there yeah. as well, it's like it's it's very stylistically made. This brand does a lot of one size, um, one size fits all, which obviously you know I feel strongly about. That fact that that doesn't really mean anything, um, but this is a size. <laughs> this is a size large. Um, it's really nice. We pay five pound. I put it up for thirty five. Um, I don't think people have caught on to that brand yet, quite yet. So I think it's going to have a real. I think it's going to go real high at one point. Talking about like the stock markets of fashion, I think that brand is one to watch. Olive. I'm doing this like it's going to come up, and it's not olive. Um, bought this in. Sorry, I was going to do it again. Bought this in a town. Um, <laughs> so my voice is going after the last month guys my voice is dead pay 10 pounds this one's really interesting because they obviously missed it because the charity shop in Castle Carey is a Mary's Lonely Giving um, it's a great shop it, they've got loads of really good brands good stock, but they're very very knowledgeable yes. so like for them to miss well anything, they get told they get sent the stock and told right yeah so this is a Neil Barrett coat Neil Barrett is famous for if you've watched the video he's famous for the lightning bolts um yeah, like on t-shirts yeah he did a lot of stuff for dan levy in Chits creek etc 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 however he is a menswear brand this was in women's wear now the question you may be asking me is do they make women's coats because that looks like a woman's coat no this is a men's coat it's just very small so i suspect a woman has bought it um in an extra extra small yeah, um, it's, uh, uh, like, uh, it's again, a fitted military shape, I would say. Like, I would say, uh, at one point in my life, I was very, very small. Like, the, you like, would have worn that. I would, I would, yeah, it would have fitted too. Yeah. Like, it's, it, it, uh, when I say really small, I'm talking like, like what? Small. Tiny. A uh, small men's, but like, you yeah. know what I mean? Um, but he does offer a range of unisex styles. However, all the models on the website are men, so he doesn't advertise directly to women. Um, however, you never obviously... see yeah, you never see women advertised on his website. No. Basically, uh, retail on coats is about one thousand three hundred pound. Huh? Um, 
We I paid, heard you. Yeah, we paid ten pounds, and I've listed it for three hundred and fifty, just based on size because it is small, um, and I style because it, it, it isn't fitted coats aren't the most fashionable. No, thing no I agree. Really. Unless you're like a very kind of smart, casual kind of gent um or well, lady once again like if i'm honest i actually think this now stylistically i think would look better on oversized on a smaller lady yeah. than it would like like fitted on a man it would look nice with a scarf and then like the neck it, yeah there you go the neck is amazing and every single seam it looks like it's bobbly but it's not it's, they're actually kind of like frayed yeah um what is, what is it wool. yeah wool 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 obviously makes uh, fun of how i say wool I make fun of everything you say ever. Well, I'm sorry, um, person. This is a Stella McCartney coat that took me ages to this because it was a pain to deep, uh, not deep, oh, oh, deep flint. Look at that, look at that, look at that. I don't know if you can see that now. No, it's just a pain. It's the material. It's like, like it's wool, but it's just a uh, The lint is terrible. This is a low slung, double breasted. So it is double breasted, but it's like low. You get the deep V um, and the big oversized buttons. It is wool. Um, people... It's a really interesting subject that I'm not going to go into right now, but obviously Stella McCartney is a vegan brand and um, she has come under criticism before for her manufacture, not manufacture, but her use of silks and wools. Um, but she does use them and they're sustainably sourced. Obviously the brand is 100% sustainable, um, which is good for the environment. Um, this coat would have retailed for a lot of money. Eight, yeah. Eight to a thousand. Eight to a thousand. Um, um, once again, it's, it's a newer label. Um, a lot of the newer stuff as well, just to give you a, a, a quick idea, a lot of her bags have like that kind of chain, this chain here. Yeah. So sometimes, if you, even if you don't notice the label, because they're quite small labels, they're not really yeah. fancy for us. Just remember this, like I know coats have chain, but it's, this kind of chain. It's called a Fabella chain. Fabella chain, that's the one, yeah. It's um, based on the Fabella bags. So we paid a little bit more for that, I think it was 16. 16 pound. Yeah, um, and I've listed it for 250. I think, do you know the other thing was, a couple of days later we saw, or maybe before, which one or the other, we saw another Stella McCartney coat, which was like a light Mac, and they wanted like 40 for it. Oh, where was that? Do you remember? And we were like, after paying 16 for this, we kind of, we're kind of not paying that for something which it is less. It happens all the time. It like tarnishes what we yeah. buy next. We've said that um, before. A quick bread and butter piece. Um, hush this again. is Hush again, but it's, um, oh, is it linen? Yeah, it's linen blend. Yeah, it is. But yeah, it's linen mix. Linen blend. Um, for anyone who wants to know, who doesn't know, I don't know if we've mentioned this before, it will tell you the season it's from here. So SS18 is spring, summer 18. So if anyone like who's picking up Hush, just there yeah um so it's a linen blend it's just honestly it's i love the lilac color actually i think it i think it's a vibe right yeah. um and we paid three pound for it so i it's an easy 25 to 30 flip especially on vintage um we've got a massive pile so if i'm talking fast and just shout at me okay we'll, well don't shout so at me because i'm very sensitive this time of year <laughs> Um, <laughs> this, so this is um cos we picked this out for eight pounds um but it's so nice i can't even explain to you it just sits there this is like, one of my like I this is one of my like favorite things we picked up in a while it's very contemporary one pocket is black and one pocket is navy obviously the coat's navy it's so cute um, right? the weight as well i don't know like if, if, so it, if it translates but it's really heavy because I, I i have this thing about cars and like to be fair i i i oh, the only reason i even know about this brand is from bethany um like individually shopping there for years and to be honest with you like it's not it can be expensive but it, it, it's not like it's not high 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 end and why i say that is they're, they're one of the only companies i know of honestly I, I don't know if you agree with me or not their textiles as in the fabrics they use are like you you don't get anywhere else i feel like they use high end not cheap fabric. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like the they construction use... methods are higher. Yeah, but and and the, the, fab the fabrics are just different. It's about silhouettes, textures, um, like construction. Like pocket look. Just this yeah. here. I don't know see the difference. Fascinating. Go on, who they owned by? H and M. There you go. So like the highest end H and M are probably like very similar designs from. But that would have retail for about ninety quid. Oh, that's what I'm saying. It's not, but it's not like what I'm saying. We also talk about jacket, which was just yeah. grand. We I'm don't. Saying, we don't know, pick this. up a lot of cars. We just pick up exceptional pieces. So we paid eight for that, but I would list it for fifty because it is an exceptional piece. And what you say is a good point. We I know we got about exceptional piece all the time, but like just a, a normal men's black shirt, which is cotton, or like a t-shirt, like for like well, seven no, pound. Don't bother. You can do all right. You can get like twenty bread and butter money, like twenty five to thirty. But, but it's seven or eight. It depends where the price point is. You know. Yeah, I agree. This is sweaty Betty. Um, this is new label yeah i picked this up for obviously the january uh fitness run i can say it as many times as you want to hear it uh this it's is, gonna happen <laughs> this is in a dusky pink it's got the curved hem it's got the dip the dip hem the embroidered logo which is a nice feature and then it's got the huge oversized like neck 
collar, um, mm. which I find yeah, people you, enjoy. Yeah, okay. I must say, it's not a cow neck, but it's like a like a hoodie without a hoodie. Yeah, um, pay six pounds, um, and I have listed that for fifty pounds. Next up is a bangaroony, and when I say bangaroony, I'm never going to say it again. When I say exceptional Excuse me, piece. Through. Bang. So this is Burberry's. Um, I was talking to a lady today about Burberry's when I was authenticating a piece. Burberry's. Uh, Burberry's stopped being Burberry's and went to Burberry in 1999. But the later Burberry's pieces, you'll notice, have more of like a, a 90s Y2K look to them. So that's how you like when the more vintage stuff like this piece. Um, that's the older stuff, if that makes sense. This is 1980s. Uh, they call this the country check. However, when I'm listing it, I will put no check in the title because i'm a scam artist no <laughs> because um people search for nova check so i would just put a green i would put green nova check um because people look for like checks from burberry um i would say it's a check tartan very interestingly princess diana wore this country check in a dress form to one of her equestrian shows and made therefore made this colorway very popular this has got the gold buttons with the um logo on them and it's also got velvet trim we paid up for this bad boy we bought it at the same time as an eve saint laurent piece which you would probably have seen on my instagram we paid 30 pounds for the use of laurent and we paid 50 schmackers for this piece this is listed for 400 pound and the Yves laurent has already sold for 300 so we're one out of two ain't bad that reminds me we also have a series of, of um of um sold videos sold videos coming out uh vestia ebay depop because people have asked for we're gonna split the them up so we're gonna do individuals of some of our favorite pieces and some of our maybe more expensive pieces maybe just kind of bread and butter but we'll see um but, but once again now ysl the way we do it this was the uh, this was this was 50 sorry that was 30 and we kind of just gone we kind of trying to divide stuff out so we were like 40 pound a piece so then when you, you the, the one cut with 300 well we're already in mad profit yeah, we're go. already in a profit of like 200 quid or whatever so. it's officially a mad profit that's why i'd say you know austin found this give him full responsibility this is bamford if anyone who knows me i love bamford I really love Bamford. These, just to clarify, these have all been um, steamed and photographed and, just... this, and then piled up before they get kind of put where they should be. So, yeah. Sorry about that. So, this is linen. This is an oversized linen blend. This is um, a nice size. Look at the size. Nip. Um, it's in like that sand beige colour. Um, it is new label Bamford, which is very exciting. The last Bamford piece I found was a mole. Mole? Mole. Moth hole ridden cashmere piece from glastonbury and that sold for 150 pounds with holes um this is uh we mm -hmm. paid seven pound fifty for this and it has been listed for 120 and i expect it to sell very very soon also made in scotland randomly. yeah well scotland is very famous for knits um uh, bamford bamford always reminds me of bam bam from the flintstones bam, and bam. a ford of water okay no no Next up is. I was about to say no, not not whatsoever. Feel free just to ignore most of the stuff I say. Um, this is Norse Products. Norse Products this is a spell out sweatshirt that we picked up in the, the Wales country. We pay four ninety nine. It does have slight frayed, so I've listed it listed it as distressed. But it is a utility workwear brand. Yeah. Um, this stuff with the spell out seems to go really well because they don't make a lot of it. Um, they do yeah. make some things with the N on. Yeah, they, they like you say they're not really like a spell out like logo y kind of company. As Bethany says, workwear is more like yeah. I don't know, just I still listed it for sixty or seventy, I believe. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm not project if you uh, like even um, beanie hats and stuff. We saw yeah. caps before. Caps. Like... I picked up a load of caps from TK Maxx. Uh, TK Maxx. Yeah, TK Maxx. I have, um, I have a lot of Norse. If you was, can get it, if you get my pieces. It was yellow labels <laughs> last year. It was they were all collab hats. They're floral collab hats, and they were all new tags. I paid four pounds each, and they sold for forty five each hat. Like. There is room to be made. There is made to be made and room also. <laughs> this is match. Paul Smith. I didn't pick up a huge amount of Paul Smith. Don't at me. I'm just not like not really into it. I love the pink um, lining. That's however, cool. I thought they were fun. Yeah, they're a, they're a slim leg jean. Once again, I don't know how many times I have to say it, but skinny's not in kids. So don't say skinny. This is a slim leg jean. Even if, says, even if it says skinny there, don't say skinny. No, I just put it, just put it in the picture. Like, like you'll read that. Yeah. Uh, blue blue denim um, they're a size 10 they're just a really nice staple piece £7.50 paid I hate listing jeans 
Um, I know there's some people, someone said the other day, I can't remember who it was on Instagram, so they love listing jeans, and I was like, are you I'm okay? Heavy. No. Do you need help? The only thing I will say, anytime we do um, buy and list jeans, they sell almost... I think that's why people like to have in listing jeans. All right, moving maybe, on. Do you think maybe a lot of people have your opinion, though, so they don't pick them up? Yeah, maybe, maybe. So when they are up and they're available, people buy. I love this dress. This is essential Antwerp. Or, if you're Austin, Essential. Essential Antwerp. It's a large size. It's a size 16. Um, it's black, obviously, as you can see. Oh, my see. God, I can't even hold it. It's up. got pine cones on it. How festive is that? That's so seasonal. Um, someone asked me the other day why I don't put Christmas in my titles and I put seasonal because I don't like to um, I don't like to box people into a once a year religious ceremony, which technically Christmas is. Which will be celebrated tomorrow. Whereas like any, like, I mean, like the majority of the, some people don't celebrate Christmas. No, and you know so what? So they wouldn't search Christmas. Does that make sense? No, yeah. But I, they might want a winter, like a winter floral. For sure. And once again, after, like you say, this can be, if you put Christmas in and then you have to change it for after yes. Christmas and so on. On top of that though, oh, yeah. um, we were, obviously we, we were a lot, for a long time, we worked in Mr. Village in different stores. And to be honest, like you can't really use the Christmas word. They don't like, they, it's holidays because obviously different religions yeah. uh, deal with different festivals. So uh, I think that comes from them as well, which, which is actually very handy for retail, and to also, be honest. And also, it's a seasonal pine cone. So it's a spring pine cone. It's a summer pine cone it's an you know awesome what? pine cone it's it, a winter it's pine however cone however you can sell it kind of pine cone i'll give you that it's a pine cone people honestly i think people um i, I do i do i do know this a lot uh, and when instagram and, and youtube and stuff and not enough people are salesy like no. it, it's like it's like a, a color a shape a size like you're trying to sell the item if you're doing it verbally or at least if i was yeah, you've got usual you words and your imagery that's all you've got like that's you can't you know yeah, i mean if i was standing on the screen and every time i listed something on ebay and it popped up and went essential antwerp dress and i went like this i probably would sell so many more things yeah, i agree like, if, you, if you're talking about a car, you're not going to say it's a black BMW. You're going to say it's a, a 360 or a M3 in metallic black, in blah, blah, blah. With, you know, it, you, you, you give more than you would. So it's all about sales. So this is, these are Eileen Fisher. I know people have a love-hate thing of Eileen Fisher, American brand. Mine is pure love. These are a rust-burnt orange jogger. Cropped. cropped little raw edge sits you going on there. Yeah, they, they are fire. The last thing I bought um, uh, was a cardigan for £5 and it sold for 100 plus postage featured in an upcoming soul video um so i thought these are gonna go just as quick because they're just as nice they're, they're a nice. medium but they're really oversized i think you know after christmas when we we're, we're just before we get in our fitness vibe we're <laughs> in our lounge rut the, so, only, the only thing is, me and Bethany are pinning um, all the fitness wear. Granted, we sell it all year round, but <laughs> we've been posting on Instagram and mentioned on videos that all this uh, this fitness wear is going to go in January. Yes. And um, to be fair, we are also starting a whole new regime in January of doing absolutely nothing. So we'll see how that goes. I like food and cheese. Cheese. And non-activity. Yes. Apart from no, wealth. health is wealth, I guys. Wealth. Health is wealth. Health is wealth. Healthy mind. Healthy stuff. Bank. Um, these are mother jeans. Mother are best known for their denim. These are more cotton. If I'm honest with you, they're not really like denim. You know. No, they're like they're like. However, stretchy. they are an ombre sparkle. Can you see that? They're sparkle. It's like spray on sparkle sort of thing. It looks like you've gone mad with like the glitter spray. Yeah, um, they're a size small, but they're really cool. They're, we these? paid for. I listed them for seventy. If they were denim, denim. If they were denim, they'd be going for a lot more. So denim ranges between two fifty and three hundred. 70 for mother for the mother and obviously they're sparkle i didn't, i wouldn't say sparkle is just you know a christmas or seasonal thing sparkle is for life however i can people... use those words at christmas fine whatever but like what we're saying is across the board it's just easier not to have those in the thing Sandro is up next paid four pounds this is a really nice black t-shirt but it's got a cute little bit of embroidery on glaze or cro crochet i put all the words in there crochet it's also sheer which is very beautiful um you could wear it with a nice little lacy number if you know what i mean and it would look a bit you know what i mean anyway pay four pounds listed for 50. is that okay perfect my dear last item and then we will leave you we will leave you alone this is my personal favorite item no michael jackson was i can't lie this is my second favorite item i have lots of favorite i wish items. i could wear this i wish i was a slinky minky so i could wear this self-portrait guys dress. this label is the label of love crispy crispy <sighs> label self-portrait and known best for their sort of lacy cut out um 
this kind of dress like mesh beautiful beautiful layered dresses this basically is sheer apart from this area and there's a mini skirt in here but it's a midi dress it's really long but a proper midi dress it comes yeah. down to like like mid calf yep. um it's in this teal color um the lady in the shop did tell us it came boxed um but it has to throw away the box for space i wanted to die so we pay sixteen pounds, which is paying up technically in the world of uh, charity what size shopping. Is it? Size eight. It's a size eight, but it's perfect for like wearing to a wedding, uh, wearing to um, be a really this cool lawyer back. or something like that. With the zips undone currently, but the uh, detail, the detail and the actual like the the work that goes into the, the, oh, the dress like this, you. like it's so insane. So I found this dress and retail is four hundred and fifty pounds, um, and I have listed it for I believe I listed it for two fifty just because it is it's new with that, it's new about tax. It hasn't been worn. Self portrait, just to give you an idea as well. The dresses, like up until recently, were maybe uh, two to three hundred max. And like in the last year and a half, maybe a little bit more, they've just skyrocketed. Quite a few influencers and people uh, of note have been wearing them. So they've just kind of gone up and up and up. And I honestly do think as well, the price of stuff, even if you buy it and you don't sell it instantly, don't stress because I think you'll find you'll actually make more in the long run. Do you know what I mean? It's the same with Ganny. Like investment. People find Ganny really sticky, but Ganny is just on the cusp of like world domination. Great things. Yeah, I agree. Um, I mean, they do, they've done all right so far, but um, they're just, they're going to be like one of those brands. So it's just like, wait, tiny bit longer. Tiny We're not saying put them away or anything. If you sell them great, you oh, sell no, them. No, no, what no. I'm saying is don't, don't ever, if you buy something like that for a decent price, don't ever think you're not going to sell it. Oh, I, oh I'm going to drop it. I'm going to do like, it will sell. I'm going to sell well. So that's it. That's been our haul. Um, that was like an accumulation, like I said. Uh, the next haul will be a bit more precise, a bit more, maybe a bit more. And then we'll have whackins and salt videos, whackins and picking videos. And we wish you a Merry Christmas Eve Eve. Merry Christmas Eve Eve. What's coming tomorrow? T tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Oh, we have a picking video with a new member of the team voicing over with us. Uh, needed a little bit of help because they're a bit shy. They haven't done it before, um, but it's well worth a watch. Um, just because, do you know what? If you give it 100 likes, the guest star would probably, it'd probably be the best <laughs> Christmas present ever. That actually genuinely makes me smile. Thank you very much for watching. And we've been the Luxury Pickers. Bye.